Hello, this is for day 304, a Bible in one year, and our Bible text, Jeremiah chapters 22 to 23, and then Titus chapter 1. Alright, so we begin with Jeremiah chapter 22. Thus saith the Lord, Go down to the house of the king of Judah, and speak there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sitteth upon the throne of David, thou and thy servants, and thy people that enter in by this gate. Thus saith the Lord, Execute ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor. And do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in this place. For if you do this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house king sick, sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and in horses, he and his servants and his people. But if ye will not hear these words, I swear by myself, saith the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus saith the Lord unto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Gilead unto me, and the head of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make thee a wilderness, and cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapons, and they shall cut down thy choice cedars and cast them into the fire, and many nations shall pass by this city, and they shall say every man to his neighbor, Wherefore hath the Lord done this unto this day, unto this great city? Then they shall answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods and served them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goeth away, for he shall return no more, nor see his native country. For thus saith the Lord, touching Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Josiah his father, which went forth out of this place, he shall not return thither any more. But he shall die in the place whither they have led him captive, and shall see this land no more. Woe well, unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. That saith, I will build me a wide house and large chamber, chambers, and cut at him up windows, and it is sealed with cedar and painted with vermilion. Shall thou reign because thou closest thyself in cedar? Did not thy father eat and drink, and do judgment and justice? And then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy, then it was well with him. Was not this to know me, saith the Lord? But thine eyes and thine heart are not, but for thy covetousness, and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence to do it. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, my brother, or Ah, sister, they shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or Ah, his glory. He, sh he shall be buried with a burial of an ass, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up thy voice in Bashan, and cry from the passages, for all thy lovers are destroyed. I spake unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou saidst, I will not hear. This have been thy manner from thy youth, that thou obeyest not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shall thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon that makest thy nest in the cellars, how gracious shall thou be when pangs come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in travail. As I live, saith the Lord, though Coniah the son of Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, king of Judah, for the were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee then. And I will give thee into the land of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them, whose face thou fearest, even into the land of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee into another country, where you were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land where unto they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man Keniah a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and ye seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. 
Thus saith the Lord, Right is this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. Jeremiah chapter 23 Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock, and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. Therefore behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall be no, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets, all my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine had overcome, because of the Lord, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery, as slippery ways in the darkness, they shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen fully in the prophets of Samaria, they prophesied in Baal, and caused my people Israel to hear. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem, an horrible thing, they commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evil doers, that none that return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants are off as Gomorrah. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink the water of God. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make in vain, they speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, The Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace, and they shall see. And they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come unto you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and have perceived and heard his word? Who hath maketh his word, and heard it? Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return, until he have executed, till he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent those prophets, yet they run. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God far off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets, that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that had my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is a shaft to the wet? saith the Lord. 
Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in places. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that seal my words every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to hear by their light and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit from this, this people at all. They shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the prophet, and the priest, and the people that shall say, The burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man in this house. Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor, and every one to his brother, What hath the Lord answered, and what hath the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living God, of the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee, and what hath the Lord spoken? But since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten. Alright, we now go to Titus chapter 1. Paul, a servant of God and apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world begun, but had in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior, the Titus, my own son, after the common grace, faith, grace, mercy, and peace, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. For a bishop must be blameless, as the steward of God, not self willed not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, holding fast the faithful word, as he had been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose so mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Christians are always buyers, evil beasts, slow belly. Slow belly. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. And to the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable, and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Alright, right down in the Bible reading, again this is for day 304, a Bible in one year, and we've read Jeremiah chapters 22-23 to and then Titus chapter 1. Thank you and God bless.